last summer, we pushed our V2 prototype to actually firing and cycling magazines. So what's next? We're talking to machine shops right now. You guys work at a machine shop or you run a machine shop or ideally if you own a machine shop and you'd be willing to tackle this. AK-50 V2.5, going hot. We recently partnered with Brandon Herrera to make the world's only AK chambered in 50 BMG. Now he reached out to a ton of different shops, but nobody wanted to take on the challenge of making these parts. And that's when some members from our awesome community seen the bat signal being sent out and suggest that he call us here at Types of CNC. And of course, we couldn't wait to take on this challenge and be a part of this project. So the first part we're gonna make is the cam group. Since this is a custom one-of-a-kind rifle, we wanted to produce the highest quality product possible. So we did things a little bit differently. To save on programming time and tooling, I actually cut this entire profile of this cam groove out on the wire EDM, with the exception of some of the mill ops that we're gonna show later. Now, if you've ever ran a wire EDM, you know how dirty that water can get, so there's not a lot to see on the machining side. The challenging feature on this part was the dovetail feature. Now, the reason this is challenging is because it actually has three faces of contact that need to provide an interference fit with the bolt carrier that we're gonna show in a later video. So everything on our setup and on the machining needs to be absolutely perfect. The wire EDM was the perfect solution to get the job done. My name's Brandon Herrera, and if you like guns, America, and white claws, then check out my channel, link in the description. That thing shoots like 500 times faster than you can EDM apart. Whatever, Barry. What if some absolute mad lad came along and came out with a 50 BMG pistol? Oh my God. Now that Trevor has the profile cut on the EDM, it's time to put it on the five axis and machine the stuff that he couldn't reach. So we're gonna start out with the part in the vise like this, and we need to machine these two notches. So we're gonna come in and rough and finish that, but we need to keep in mind that Trevor has already finished this bottom surface here. So we need to make sure that this part is indicated perfectly or else we're gonna get some mismatch. After we finish that, we're gonna rotate 90 degrees and we're gonna finish this fillet that goes around this finger tab. Next, we're actually gonna finish the finger tab itself. And then the last thing we're gonna do is the bolt rides in this little half moon shape here. So we don't want this sharp corner to be on the end of the part or it's gonna start rubbing our bolt. So we need to come in and just do a simple chamfer on that to break that edge. We're gonna do one more op after this. So we're gonna come in and rough these steps and then rough and finish these fillets here. But we also need to keep in mind that Trevor EDM'd a little bit of this groove here, but he couldn't reach all the way up in here. So we're gonna have to blend that again. So we need to make sure that this thing is perfectly indicated. All right, after that, that completes the five axis operations and we need to come back in and sinker EDM this middle pocket. But that's a lot of work for that sinker to do. So we're gonna do this much faster by coming in and roughing that pocket out first, leaving 10 thousandths on everything that we can reach and then let the sinker EDM worry about the rest. Let's talk EDM. Now you might be wondering how we can burn through steel with graphite. Sinker EDM uses electricity to actually erode the metal, but there's a lot of heat going on in there. But graphite actually doesn't melt. It goes straight from a solid and turns into a gas at 3,600 degrees Celsius. So because of that, we're able to use this to erode our metal without actually melting our electrode. Now to burn the cam groove pocket in our part, we actually needed two electrodes to do that. Since we've been so busy in the shop, we reached out to our friends at Graffel to help make the electrodes. They're an American company. They've been in business for over 56 years, serving the aerospace, medical, and automotive industries. And if you need graphite electrodes made, you should definitely give them a shot. These guys do fantastic work. Now first we came in with this electrode and this burned everything except for the two undercuts in our pocket. Now to burn our two undercuts, Barry actually helped me come up with an awesome design. We combined the two undercuts into a single electrode. What this did was it dropped down right into its start point and then it burned in the positive X direction, 380 thousandths and cut the first undercut. After that, it burned in the negative X direction, 115 thousandths, and got the second undercut. 
After that, our pocket was finished. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think this cam groove is gonna do an awesome job to drive the bolt to Brandon Herrera's AK-50. Now the graphite material that we use to make our electrodes is called POCO EDM3 from Integris. Now this is some of the best graphite in the industry. It's got a particle size of five microns and it has a uniform material structure that gives it consistency from electrode to electrode. It's also very strong and has great wear characteristics. And the best part is Integris is right in our backyard over in Decatur, Texas. Yeehaw. So the cam groove is the part that actually rotates the bolt here. So these two parts, these, uh, these angles, work together to rotate the bolt and lock it into battery so that the round can fire and I don't blow up. Again, really, really cool when I don't blow up. So this piece we did separately just in case we have to replace it later because again, this is a prototype cam groove. Uh, we may have to replace it or change the geometry here in the future. So we wanted to make sure that we didn't have to do the entire bolt carrier over again if we had to replace the geometry on the cam groove. So this piece fits nice and snug here. There you go. Like a glove. So when this is all the way in, this is actually flush. You almost can't even feel it to the touch where the seam is. That's really nice. Now that everything's together, we can take our bolt here, rotate it in and our bolt is camming the way it should. It's gonna be a little wobbly because there's no bolt stem on it right now. Uh, this tube, this hole through here is what keeps that straight, but right off the bat, I can tell it is camming our bolt exactly the way it should. So everything passes with flying colors. It's actually amazing that this works right off the bat without needing any fitment. The part just looks fantastic. What can you say? These guys are, I guess you could call them titans of CNC. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the process of how we made the cam groove for Brandon Herrera's AK-50. And we're just excited that Trevor actually made a good part and we can move on. So we're going to be talking about all of these parts in detail. So let us know in the comments which one of these you guys want to see next. Now you might see some of these parts on our new platform, CNC Expert Built for Machinist by Machinist. It's completely free, so if you haven't already, go set up a free profile and you can also display all your work to the entire world. Like and subscribe, and we'll see y'all in the next one.